What's up guys, it's Dollmatter here, and today we're gonna to be reacting to another donut operator video. So yesterday we reacted to the Nate the Lawyer video on Angry Cop versus the New York Judge. And people kept telling me that I should check out the donut operator video on it. Apparently he covered it as well. So this is Angry Cop versus Drunk Judge from Donut Operator. Uh, I'll link to the original video down below. Let's jump into it. <gasps> Oh my god, what is in my tactical monthly subscription tack pack this time? American Buffalo Knife, a 556 muzzle brake, a tack pack dry bag, 25% off Rex Silentium, Target! Guess what, guys? If you use the code donut at tackpack.com, then you get a free grab bag. And you only have a couple of days left to sign up for the November package that's worth $130. They're doing pre orders for the special Christmas box right now worth $300. Tack pack! You only got a couple days, go sign up! Hi everyone, Donut here. I'm joined today by my guest, Clyde Mays, my EDC, Walter PPQ, and ah. Texas. Today we're gonna be taking a look at some very angry cops. Let me ask you a very serious question. How could a police incident even be a police incident if you didn't have a woman screaming her panties off? <laughs> And who else would it be other than a gigantic Karen? Imagine a Karen. Who do you picture? Probably this woman. Now imagine you're a police officer, you just got your discount Chick-fil-A, you're having a great day, and you get out of your car to this. Does Chick-fil-A actually give a discount for officers? I didn't know that. Okay. okay. Wait a minute! I know this guy. My wire. That's funny because she's. Hello, she says that. I didn't see this clip in the Nate the Lawyer video. They're a bunch of fucking assholes. She literally just bit somebody and punched somebody in the face because they were parking in front of her driveway, which they they weren't even right. The car wasn't even in the driveway. You could see it in the other video. Wireless mic just died, and I have no AA batteries, so the audio quality is going to be sort of different from this point on. Back to who that guy is. This guy right here is current judge and former state senator Mark Grisanti. Surely because he's a judge, he'll conduct himself in a calm and respectful manner to police. Okay. Yeah, you got it all, I can't. All right. Let's talk a little police stuff now. When you pull up to a scene and it's complete chaos and you got two Karens in each other's faces doing this little thing right here, you want to separate the two parties and figure out what's going on. Looking through the body camera, let's try and figure out what happened from the words of the people on scene. I think we can assume that everyone on scene is shit housed and the cops wish they were shit housed also. <laughs> Fortunately though, we do have an officer on scene who speaks their language. Back. 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 We've separated the parties, now we can get to the root of the problem. And everybody's all four cars. Right. City vehicle on their driveway, their driveway. Ah, all this over cars that were parked on the street. In the criminal justice system, parking based offenses are considered especially heinous. In New York, the dedicated <laughs> detectives who investigate these vicious felonies are members of an elite squad known as the Special Victims Unit. These are their stories. Parked their cars, and everybody's all four cars. Right. City vehicle on their driveway, their driveway, my driveway. They're 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 so they know I call the cops. Oh, they come they're out. They're you got a fucking problem? You got a fucking problem? I'm going to let you know what's yelling. We'll talk calmly over here. There's fucking trucks in here. Pussy needs a fucking, like a fucking cat in his brain or something. Huh? Pussy needs a fucking, like a fucking his brain or something. Oh, in his brain. thank you, Karen. Mayor Brown needs to have a tack in his brain or something. Makes a lot of sense. Anyways, we got our first name drop. Mayor Byron Brown, the mayor of Buffalo, New York. Ooh, name drop number two. Wait till my son hears what you did. Oh, stop from the yelling. Camera. This is going to be a problem for, for you. I don't care. Them. Okay, cool. Then get over here. She's good, she's good, she's good. No, we're not doing this right now. We are not doing this right now. No, it's okay. 
Looks like the officer went in to detain, not arrest, the problem of the situation, which is the boss Karen there screaming boss her head Karen. off and riling everyone up. It seems that the Karen has calmed down and has stopped screaming. And what happened to the officer who went in to detain the problem? He gets assaulted by Judge Grisanti. Grisanti. Who cares? <laughs> My daughter and my son are both Buffalo police officers. I know, I know. And you I'm calling right now. Dude, you would not want them put, putting your head, somebody putting their head. Dude, you are not going to fight a cop. Hey, you arrest my fucking wife, you're going to be sorry. In all in one sentence, he says, my son and daughter are police officers, and if you arrest my wife, you're going to be sorry. My son and my... Yeah, I think that's actually the most egregious thing. I don't think the little shove is that big of a deal. Like, obviously, you shouldn't put your hands on anyone, let alone a cop. Uh, but I... It was, it was just a tiny shove. I don't think it's that big of a deal. Or he's just being a drunk retard. But when he starts threatening them, especially considering, you know, the fact, I didn't know he was a former senator, but the fact that this guy's a former senator, he's now a judge. Um, yeah, that's definitely a problem. My daughter both I police officers. Care. Even more name dropping. I don't okay. care. Oh my God, are you f kidding me, dude? I'm so done listening to you scream. Why? Because it's the truth. It's f no, because I want to hear everybody talk. Fifteen years of I bullshit. I want everybody's story. You're cheering them first. You don't understand. Yes, any name. That doesn't mean I'm not. Although she's like, you should detain them first. Meanwhile, she's the one who fucking bit the guy. <laughs> she bit the other guy and punched him in the face. The only person here who's done anything illegal is her. Right? Maybe the judge, but definitely her. And she's like, you should detain them first for parking on the street. In, 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 again, in front of my driveway. They're not even in front of the driveway. I'm gonna listen to you. I'm you need to, to get the. If you don't get the cops out for right now, to you're gonna have a problem. We're not doing that. We're not threatening that. He needs to get the cops off her. She's gonna send him back in the car right now. That's what we're gonna do. That's what we're gonna do for he right now. He needs to get the cops off her. <laughs> you have no power. Wait, I I didn't see these other videos in the Nate the lawyer part. I only saw the. Uh, Won the initial fight between the fucking pink shirt Karen and the other two where she bit the guy and punched him in the face. And then, uh, and then the clip of Angry Cop getting all, <laughs> Angry Cop's getting all pissed off. Oh, yeah. But wait, there's more. We're, we're, we're not going to do that by your demand. She's going to send it back in the car. She's going to be in cuffs. Okay, that's what's going to happen for right now. Let us work, let, let us just work this through. The cop says, I'm done listening to you scream. I think we all are. I think now we may be able to figure something out because so far we've been on scene for a couple minutes and we've got nothing. Hey, listen, I'm good friends with Byron Brown. Ooh, we flexing again? That's what, like, like nine or ten on the flexing and name drop counter now? Huh, another cop just walked up. Looks like a supervisor, maybe? He looks kind of angry. We come back. He looks so kind of that. angry. I'm talking like this could freaking punch me in the face and I'm getting a fat lip. I think you're kind of talking like that because you're shit housed and you're not fooling any of us. I'm going to ask some of these people because I, I want oh, some trust. Because, no, I mean, no. I'm sure you understand I'm getting... Get around the car and I'll bring her aside. Yeah, I, now, to be fair, I haven't seen all the video, right? Because the this, some of this is new to me. I, not all of this was in the Nate Lawyer video, so I didn't see the entire thing. But in the other video, he never gets hit, right? Maybe he did end up getting hit. Maybe the guy hit him back. But in the other video, the only person that gets hit is the other husband, right? The the Karen, pink, his wife, pink shirt Karen, walks over there screaming at them about the car. Uh, they go up to, like, confront her. She punches him in the face. And then he gets, like, back in her face right away. And then she fucking bites his arm. <laughs> Starts fucking, like, chewing on him like a bad dog. Right. And I didn't mean to tackle you, but, I mean, you kind of threw my wife down on the ground pretty hard. And I don't appreciate that. I understand that. All right? I really don't. If, that, if I would do that to your wife and you're outside, you'd do the same thing. Sure. Well, if you were a police officer right? and she was screaming no, in my, my face. No, my daughter's a police officer. And I know what you guys are going through right now. And trust me, my daughter's a police officer, my son in law's a police officer, my brother, my, okay, my, and if my son's a, screaming uh, at your a daughter and approaching her like that, she would have done the same thing. No, you grabbed my wife from over there and dragged her over here, which was not necessary. Wait a minute. The thing is, he didn't even drag her. The, the wife tried walking away. She was, try she was trying to resist it. Then, she s then she's like, okay, I'll let you do it. And then still kept trying to resist it. But by the time he even like put his hands on her, like other than attempting to handcuff her, and like actually pushed her down. They were already at the grass. He didn't shove her over there. Something's familiar about this officer. Enhance. 
Enhance. Enhance. <laughs> Mother of God. So you need to chill out about that. I'm just, well, I'm I just have a camera, so that I'm it's all documented. I don't care about your camera. Just give you a little constructive criticism, dude. Okay. Okay. Let me give you some good constructive criticism. You want to drop another copper's name? You want to scream about you know Kamal, you're the mayor? I feel like Rich could knife hand me through the computer screen if he wanted to <laughs> at this point, so I'm just going to let him have it from here. Why don't you shut the fuck up? Sorry, you listen, quiet. Shut the uh, goddamn uh, mouth. Put your hands back. Listen. Put your hands back. Okay. You want to be difficult? You want to you say you do all these coppers and I know all these things? No, I don't want to make this look dirty. Is that what you want to do? I so how am I helping you now? How, tell me. Tell me how can I help you? How? Shut, the, shut up and let me talk to you. Shut up. Me old shut geezer. up. Let me talk to you. Since you had so much to say and you touch a cop. So let me talk to you. God. Let me talk to you. God. Yeah, that part no, always gets You're me. not done talking yet. And I'm not done talking to you. So let's be quiet, Dad. So son can get some words in. You're saying everybody's fucking name and dropping everybody's name with a badge. And you're expecting a special treatment. How does that look like to everybody That's in this good. environment right That's now? Good. It doesn't look good. I know. And then you right. grab him? You're what do you want me to do? What do you want me to do? Why are you still over talking? You're over so right. We're going back over to my car. No, no, I'm just saying you're over so right. We're going over here. You yes. smell like shit. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> you smell like shit. <laughs> Wasn't that just a delight? The woman finally stops screaming so we can thank our Lord and Savior P. Barnes for that one. Rich comes in and makes the judge feel like a tiny little baby boo-boo bitch, and everyone lived happily ever after. Is this gonna become a continuous series now where Rich ends up on the news like once every couple weeks and I get to go in and laugh at him with you guys? Cause it's awesome. Rich, don't get into trouble and stop getting into fights with random homeless people. But I mean, I gotta say, it's good yeah, content. Thank you so homeless, much dude. for watching this video. I'm gonna be back on my Twitch stream very soon. I uh, I kind of kind of moved to Texas. <laughs> I got to me a house now. Office will be here soon. Regular videos will be coming back soon. Way more content now that I'm out here with like BRCC, Demolition Ranch, all those cool guys. Until next time, everybody, please have a fantastic day. Man, I swear, everyone moves to fucking Texas. I'd move there if it wasn't for the weather. Like, that's the thing. I, I wish there was somewhere that had laws like Texas, but the environment of the Midwest, because where I live in Canada is basically like the same environment as the Midwest. That would be fucking absolutely perfect. But uh, anyway, let me know what you think below. Like, comment, subscribe. I'll see you guys in the next one.